When performing startup, you must first connect your DC microamp meter to the flame safeguard relay. Verify the meter is on DC microamps. Remove the red wire from the fenwall board and connect your black lead with clip to the push on and your red lead with clip to the spade of the board. Next remove the cover from the high limit and discharge mixing box. Remove the screw at the bottom. It is a quarter inch screw. Slide the cover up, then pull it out at the bottom and it will slide off. Use a temperature meter and place the meter up on top of the unit. And there is a rubber grommet between the high limit and the discharge sensor. The grommet is in the middle. Be sure to place your sensor into the grommet. Next, put the wire to the side and reinstall the cover. Now connect your high pressure gauge to the gas pipe supplying the unit. Remove the eighth inch pipe plug from the pipe and install your high pressure gauge either outside of the heater or upstream of the HPR. Be sure to tighten the gauge down to avoid leaks. Now turn the ball valve on to supply pressure to the heater. Now verify the disconnect is in the off position. Using a voltmeter, check across all three legs of the supply power. L1, L2, L1, L3, L2, L3. After you verify the voltage, turn the disconnect switch to the on position. Now verify the blower rotation. The blower should rotate counterclockwise from the drive side and clockwise from the control can side. Place the blower switch in local position. Once the blower starts, take an amp probe and verify the amp draw on all three legs of the motor. You will see I'm checking all three wires on bottom of the bottom of the overload. Verify the amps do not exceed the overload set point. On the bottom right corner of the circuit board, the two wires are marked MV out. Remove these two wires. Using a voltmeter, place two leads on the bottom two spades of that board where the wires were removed. Verify your meter is on DC volts. On the circuit board, there is a potentiometer marked POT1. Verify that voltage is at 14 volts. If it is not, turn that potentiometer clockwise until your meter reads 14 volts. Once you have verified your low start voltage, remove your meter leads from the two spades and reinstall the two wires. Place the burner switch in local position. Once the burner fires, remove wire number three from the amplifier. Place the burner switch to local position. Once the burner fires, the X light will go off. The heater is now in low fire start. After several seconds, the LFS, LFS light will come on. Once the LFS light comes on, it is out of low fire start. Now the amplifier has control. Once the heater fires, it will be in low fire start, as you can see on my magnahelic. After several seconds, low fire start will end and the heater will go to high fire. Now you must look at the nameplate and adjust the unit regulator to the nameplate manifold differential pressure. Remove the cap on the regulator and turn it clockwise until you reach your nameplate setting. Once you have matched your nameplate setting, reinstall the cap on the regulator. Once the manifold differential pressure is set, reinstall wire number 3 on the amplifier. Insert the wire and tighten the screw. Next, remove wire number 8 from the amplifier. 
this will place the heater in low fire. Now verify your flame signal is from 3 to 6 microamps. If it is less than 3, consult the factory. Next, reconnect wire number 8 to the amplifier. Verify the discharge dial is set to 160. Once all wires are reconnected to the amplifier, close both access doors. Close the left door first and then close the right door. This will leave a gap at the top of the right door so not to crimp the wire and the hose from your manometer and your temperature meter. At this point, monitor your meter and watch the discharge temperature rise. It should go to between 155 and 160. If it does not go to 155 to 160, you must calibrate the system. In order to calibrate the Maxitrol 14 series system, open the access door and remove the mixing box cover. Once the cover is removed, the TS-114J discharge sensor is at the top of the box. Behind the sticker on the upper left hand corner of the sensor is the calibration pot. Turn this pot clockwise to increase, counterclockwise to decrease the discharge temp. Once this is done, reinstall the mixing box cover and close the access door. Once you have calibrated your discharge sensor, monitor your discharge temperature. You are looking for between 155 and 160. If you exceed 160, recalibrate to below 160. Place your burner and your blower switches both to the remote position. Turn the disconnect switch counterclockwise to the off position. Remove your microamp meter from the circuit. Be sure to reinstall the red wire on the FP terminal of the Fenwell board. Remove the mixing box cover and remove your sensor which goes to your meter. Once your sensor is removed, reinstall the cover. Once the cover is installed, reinstall the screw and tighten. Lastly, remove your manometer hose. Once the hose is removed, reinstall the 8th inch pipe plug and tighten. Once the pipe plug is installed, the startup is complete. Be sure to close all access doors and tighten the latches prior to leaving the equipment. 